Hello, welcome to the teacher channel and I thank you so much for um, coming and uh, watching the video. Uh, please, I want you to watch the video to the end because uh, it is really very, the content is rich, the content is very, very uh, life-saving. Okay, and the objective of the video is demonstration of AED. Okay, I've already made uh, two videos be be before now, uh, and those videos focus on the, uh, the theoretical uh, perspective, theoretical angle to uh, AED. And of course, those theory provide the foundation. Okay, uh, it's important we understand what we're doing. It's not just operating AED, but what does AED do? Okay, how do you uh, operate it? So we need to have some solid knowledge on that, and that's what the other videos, um, you know, accomplished. So I, I will ask you to watch the videos. Um, if you have not done that, I'm also going to ask you to subscribe to this channel. Okay, but please, if you have not subscribed yet, I will ask you to do that. Please, okay? You can also like and share the video. As you know, this video is about life saving. Okay, we are here to talk about what to do when there is an emergency. Of course, you know that emergency sometimes is unavoidable. There's nothing we can do sometimes about them. But there's something we can do to prevent sometimes, and of course, to respond to those emergencies. And that is actually the objective of this uh, channel, okay? To equip us, to get us ready in case emergency shows up, okay? And one of the emergencies that often happen, okay, often, I mean, it happens very often nowadays is cardiac arrest, okay? And uh, cardiac arrest will actually prompt the use of AED, okay? So let me give a rundown, a recap, a summary of, you know, what those other two videos actually discussed, okay? So an AED is um, automated external defibrillator, so automated external defibrillator. So this is a computerized device which can dictate abnormal heart rhythms and can eliminate them. Okay? An AED restores the normal heart rhythm. So of course it can dictate abnormal heart rhythm and through the electrical shock that AED delivers, it can eliminate those abnormal heart rhythm. And so, a, of course, the elimination of the abnormal heart rhythm will lead, hopefully, to the restoration of the normal heart rhythm. So, this is what AED accomplishes. Okay? And... Um, so you use AED in conjunction with the CPR. So two of them, when used together, will yield far better result than just CPR alone. Okay, so we, I'm going to talk more about that as we progress. Okay, so using AED or operating AED is very, very simple. Very, very simple. There are three broad steps, okay? Step number one is to turn it on. So power on the AED. Some AEDs can power on automatically, but not all of them can do that. So you need to familiarize yourself with the AED that you have. So, but I assume that the one you have does not power on automatically. And in that case, you have to do that manually. So step number one, turn it on. Step number two, listen. Listen to AED. AED is computerized, okay? It has some degree of intelligence, so it knows what it is doing. So listen to, to AED and follow, follow, okay? 
You don't have to add your own idea. Don't bring your idea. AED knows the way. Follow. Okay. Obey. Obey the voice prompts. So remember, AED begins to talk to you. As soon as you power it on, listen. It will take it from there and then walk you through the process. All you need is follow, 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 obey. Okay. Yes. And if you follow, you are not going to miss. So just follow. Okay. Follow AED prompts. Okay. And uh, you'll be okay. All right. Um, so that is the uh, overview, a brief overview of uh, AED. Uh, when do you use it? When somebody is in cardiac arrest, what does it do? It dictates abnormal heart reading, correct those reading by eliminating. And in the process, hopefully, it's going to restore uh, the person's heart um, heartbeat, okay, to restore the heart reading. Uh, okay, so um, I will, next I'm going to demonstrate. I'll just demonstrate. Uh, how to use AED on an adult, adult victim. So, um, so in this case, I assume that this is the uh, this is the patient. This is an adult patient. So this patient is in cardiac arrest. Okay, and uh, I want to assume that CPR is already in progress. Okay. So, chances are that CPR will commence first, unless AED is on site or where the emergency happens, which doesn't happen, um, you know, most of the time. So, AED may be stored somewhere. So, there's always a time uh, lapse between when emergency occurs and when AED arrives. So I assume that CPR has commenced, but also remember that before you start CPR, that you have already called EMS, Emergency Medical Services, okay? You will have called them, okay? And you have requested AED. So when you call them because of cardiac arrest, I expect you to let them know that you need AED. Okay, some agencies, some establishments, organizations have AED on site. So if that is the case, you need to ask somebody to go bring it. So why the person has gone to either call emergency uh, people or grab AED. Even if you have AED on site, that doesn't mean that you should not call EMS. Okay, EMS is a must. You have to call them. Okay, because they have uh, medical help to give this person which what we are doing, the first aid we are doing may not be able to give. Okay, so we need EMS. Okay, so um, so this is the lightweight machine, the computerized device. So this machine, just like um, I already indicated on the other video has three components. Okay, the machine itself. So this is the machine itself. Okay, of course they come in different sizes, different um, you know design and shape. Okay, um, so you need to familiarize yourself with whatever you have, and then you have the the pad. Okay, this is the pad. Okay, and of course there is also the smaller, the pediatric pad, uh, which uh, could, this one you use on anybody who is under eight years. Okay, uh, this one anybody who is above eight years, eight and above, you can use this adult pad, and then you have the um, the connector. So this will be. Uh, the bridge between the two ends, between the machine on one end and the pad on the other end. Okay, remember that the pad will be on the on the chest of the uh, of the patient as we are going to see uh, shortly. Okay, so the communication between the machine and the pad end uh, 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 goes through the connector. So without this connector, there will be a gulf 
between the two and there won't be any communication. Of course, this machine may not even work. Okay, so let me now start. So bring out everything was the was uh, the bag comes. Okay, so bring the machine out. I've already done that. So I brought the machine out. So watch me. I'm not gonna say anything until I finish demonstration. Okay. Clear? Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of patient. I'm clear. You clear? Everybody clear. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. emphasize on few things before I run it off. Now I want you to look at um, the, the sticking. Okay, so one is on the upper right and of course the arrow will show. Okay, just look at the, the diagram on the pad and stick it accordingly. And the other one is at the base of the left, um, the base of the left nipple. Okay, so, but there are some special considerations. If somebody had pacemaker here, let's assume somebody, this person has pacemaker. So I'm not going to put pad over pacemaker, so I'm going to move it down. 
Okay. What if somebody has a medication patch, like a nicotine patch here? So I'm going to remove the nicotine patch and then wipe before I stick. So I'm not going to put pad over nicotine or medication patch, okay? If the chest is wet, I have to dry, wipe before I use. There are also people who may have a hairy chest. So if the chest is so hairy that the hairs are preventing the sticking of the pad, this pad is sticky. So if the hairs prevent the sticking, I have two options. Okay, uh, if I have the razor, I shave that spot. So I shave before I use. Or if I have extra pad, I wax. Okay, I forcefully pull the hairs off and then use a new pad. All right. Uh, there are, if the person is under age, let's assume uh, this baby. Okay, let's assume baby is the patient. So I'm going to use the pediatric. Usually one is in front and one at the back. Okay, like this, this. Okay, this is behind, this is in front. Okay, but if I don't have this size, it's okay to use adult, but one is in front and one at the back. So I believe you have learned a lot on this video and you are you are equipped you have the knowledge to operate it effectively okay so thank you so much for watching this uh, the video and again i want to ask you to subscribe if you have not like and share the video and please come again i have more videos